A thief broke into the gas station, where I worked in the middle of the night. Fortunately, I managed to discreetly press the emergency button. But regretted it hmm? almost immediately. Put the money away. I only need baby food. What? Okay, okay. I'll bring it right away. Oh no, you're pregnant. I'm sorry, I I'm so <gasps> sorry. I won't hurt you, just do what I say. After looking closely at the robber, I realized that his face was hidden behind a bib. As I was packing baby parades and porridge, I heard a child's cry coming from the parking lot. That's enough. Thank you. Sorry, but I have to do this. Hmm? After comforting the baby inside the car, the robber returned and asked me for my phone battery. If I don't take it, you'll call the police. I looked into that man's eyes and saw no evil. <sighs> they are already on the way. You need to get out of here as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. If I get locked up, they'll take ban. Hurry up! Here's some more food for you. <gasps> the thief's old car wouldn't start and the cops were getting closer. Then... I did the most impulsive thing I have ever done in my life. Take mine. Mm -hmm. Down by the forest, at the second turn, there is an old hunter's hut. Wait for me there. The robber looked at me with surprise and distrust. Thank you. Again, I I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to scare you. My gun isn't even real. As if in a haze, I did what my heart told me to. He ran that way. While being interrogated at the police station, I got my testimony all mixed up. Was the robber alone? No. Well, I mean, yes, he was alone. And you claim that he fled toward the police sirens, correct? Yes. Yes, that's right. I thought it was weird, too. They let me go, but not without giving me a suspicious look. I stayed home for two days, just in case I was being followed. Only on the third day did I go to the hunter's hut. Drop me off here. I didn't know if I would find anyone inside, or whether I'd see my car again. I'm so stupid and naive. However, as I approached the little house, I almost lost consciousness. The hub had been turned into a modern building. Did you do this in just three days? I had some inspiration. I love working with my hands. The man also showed me the hiding place he created in case I brought the cops. But as I see, you came alone. Thank you. <laughs> I let him know about the interrogation. And in return, he told me how the boy's mother left them for her lover. 
The robber added that he couldn't work because he didn't have anyone to babysit his son. Social services could take my little Ben away. After running out of money for food, I restart to crime. Until then, I'd only seen that much pain when I looked in the mirror. My boyfriend left me too when he found out that I was pregnant. <gasps> Before I could say that I understood him, we heard police sirens. <gasps> They must have not believed my words and followed me here. Oh no. They'll put me in jail and send Ben to an orphanage. Where are the keys to the hiding place? I'll stay there with Ben. I won't let anyone take him. The police identified the thief thanks to the license plate on his old car. Zack, as the man was called, was arrested on the spot and sentenced to one year in prison for robbery. I'm very sorry. Social <gasps> services went by my house yesterday. They want to take Ben away. Zack was worried that he wouldn't be able to find his son once he got out. <laughs> I hope that if he gets adopted, they won't change his first and last name. I also thought about it all hmm? night, but came up with a solution. Zack, will you marry me? What? You want to marry an inmate? A criminal? A loser? You're not a loser. What you did with that house mm -hmm. in three days proves it. <laughs> I told him that we should get married in order to keep Ben with me. And as soon as he was released, we'd get a divorce. No obligations, I promise. Zack didn't have time to answer me as visiting time was over. Unfortunately, we were only allowed to see each other again two weeks later. Social services took Ben away. After all, it was the law. Determined not to waste any more time, I brought a priest with me to the next visit. Still, Zack refused to do it. I don't want you to be forced to marry someone you don't love. But that's not true. It feels like I've loved you for quite a while. Ever since our first meeting that night. <gasps> Zack confessed that he had feelings for me as well. <sighs> May? Will you marry me? <gasps> yes. Yes, I will! After tying the knot, I immediately prepared the papers for Ben's guardianship. The clock was ticking, yet I managed to do it and he became my son. Not only that, but I also gave birth to a little girl the following month. Although it was a rough period, I finally felt happy. Zack was granted an early release from prison for good behavior, and my life became exactly what I had always dreamed of. I had a wonderful family, plus an incredible house which my amazing husband built with his own two hands.
Remember, true love can come into your life when you least expect it.